Update 1.7.1 for Farming Simulator 22 is out now for all platforms, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through it, show you what's new and what's changed, as well as showcase these new voucher tractors that we got today. We're also going to go over the changelog. You can also check the timestamps down below to fast forward to whatever you want to see first. Otherwise, let's get it started. First things first, new voucher tractors have been added. We've got four different models. We have the Q series. We also have the T series the N series and the smallest the little a series these are really easy to find just go into your store go to brands and go to the very bottom almost and click on Valtra. let's take a look at some of the customization on these tractors starting with the Valtra q series this has 230 horsepower to start off with a variable transmission 460 liters of fuel 31 miles an hour max speed three or 9.3 tons and it is 24 slots on consoles this is the largest tractor that was added today as far as customization we have a front mount three point we've also got a front weight holder then we have 180 300 420 540 660 780 and 900 kilogram front weights will brands include trelleborg michelin continental midas bkt freston and nokian tires and then you've got all of the standard wheel setups that you would expect to see through here we even have narrow tires on the largest one which i was a little bit shocked to see but hey i am down with it going through these it doesn't look like there's anything wild and crazy or out of the ordinary here as for your roof setup we have a standard as well as a sky view check that out that's pretty sweet reverse driving we have the twin track or no so you can enable or disable reverse driving with these, which is kind of nice, but you can just take that feature away altogether if you're not going to use it. We also have a door set up for the panorama window. We also have a second door here on the left side or the right side, depending on what you're doing. And then we have a stowage set up with small and big. Now I'm trying to figure out what exactly this is changing because I'm not seeing anything, but... Maybe there's something there that I'm just not getting. Moving on in our customization, we have the interior setup. So we have design number one, which was kind of lighter colored, and design number two, which is more darker colored. We also have a front loader for Quickie and Hauer. Engine setups, we have a 230 horsepower, 245 to 65. We also have a 285, 305, and back down again. So 305 horsepower is as high as this one goes. Main colors include... All of them. We even have some custom ones, including a black. We have a blue, gray, red, blue. That looks nice. And a custom green. But we have every other color under the rainbow in here. We'll go with that blue. It looks good. And the rim colors. Base F, base game gray, and every single color from there. Ooh. That looks pretty good. Yeah, man. Making our way down to the T-Series. You're going to see a lot of the similar same things here. So 210 horsepower, manual plus power shift transmission. So a different transmission in here. 380 liters fuel, 31 miles an hour, 7.3 tons, and it is 23 slots on consoles. Front mount, we have the three point. We also have front weight holder and 122, 40, 360, 480, 600, 720, and 840 kilogram weights. Will Brands, Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Vridestein, Nook, and Tires, and back in again. And uh, looks like we have basically similar or the same wheel setup. So no tracks, but nice stuff anyway. Roof setup, standard or the sky view, reverse driving, no and yes. Door setup, panoramic or second door on the right hand side. Interior design is exactly the same there. Fuel tank setup, so we have plastic or stainless steel. That's kind of cool. Front loaders, we have the Quickie or the Hauer or Nada engine setup. We have a 210 horsepower engine. We have a, another 210 horsepower engine, but it changes up the interior. Check that out. That's kind of nice. And then we also have a 210 direct, which changes things yet again. And then we have a 230 active, Versu, and direct. So we have a lot of different options there. We even have a variable transmission right there at the top. That is going to be very nice. Now, making our way down to colors, exact same color setups here, so nothing new there. And then wheel setups, same thing here as well. Nothing new there. Jumping down to the N-Series now. 145 horsepower on here. Manual plus power shift transmission. 235 liters of fuel. 31 miles an hour. at 6.5 tons. As far as your mounting goes, front three-point. Front weight holder, 120, 240, 360, 480, 600. That's where that one stops. Will Brands, Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Vrastan, Nokia, and Trelleborg. And going through these, looks like we have same or similar wheel setups 
from previous. The only thing we don't have there is Narrows, which I would have expected to see on here. In series doesn't have Narrows? Okay. Uh, roof setup, we do have that sky view on there. If you guys want to go with that, reverse driving, we can enable that. Uh, we've got the second door of the panoramic on the right-hand side. Interior, the exact same thing there. Uh, engine setup. So we've got that active versus and direct drive. We've also got in a 145, 165, and 201 horsepower options. Main colors, well, all the ones you would expect, and rim colors, all the same ones you would expect. And the only other tractor coming with this is the Valtra A-Series. This one right here is going to be 17 slots on consoles, 105 horsepower to start with, manual plus power shift transmission, 175 liters of fuel, 24 miles per hour, max speed at 4.8 tons. Front mounting, well, you guys are used to it by now. Three point front weight, 120, 240, 360, 480, and 600 on there. There you go. Will Brands, Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Vrydstein, and Nokian tires. And going through here, do we have some care wheels? Yes, we do. Good to see those on there. Good to see those on there. Front loader attacher, we have the Quickie, we have the Hauer, or Nada, engine setup. So this is going to be. Um, Kind of a another, well, let's say interesting setup. Yeah, we've got the high tech and the high tech four, which just changes a few things inside. So 105, 115, 125, and 135 horsepower engine options. No CVTs on here, so that's all manual plus power shift. Main colors, same ones as before, and rim colors, same as before. We also have a change log for you guys for this update, version 1.7.0. One, they've improved the quality with Fidelity FX Super Resolution. Two, fix the display of driving direction while manual shifting is enabled. Fix the John Deere 7R crop destruction and trail board care wheel config. PS4 only, they fix sport for Logitech wheels, so your wheel should work now. Visual fixes for the Claus Zarian 5000, Claus Axian 800, Claus Liner 4900 Business. Visual fixes as well for the Verivet Hydro Trike, the Man TGS TGS Truck, and TGX 26640, they fixed the schema for that. They've updated the Valtra brand logo and updated the lights on the Valtra G series. Again, they've also added the new vehicles. And of course, they give us that extra information at the bottom. As with all major updates of Farming Simulator, you may experience stuttering on the first game launch after the update when using mods or custom graphic settings due to shaders being recompiled. Let's talk about how to download it if you guys haven't gotten it already for whatever reason. Well, on Xbox, it's pretty easy. What you need to do is go down to manage your games, go to your updates, and you should see an update for Farming Simulator 22 right here. On Xbox, you can see the update is 541 megabytes. On PlayStation, it's almost just as simple. Go to Farming Simulator 22 and click check for update. And you can see Oh, we've got an update ready to go, and there it is! And how large is it here? Hmm, only 222-some megabytes. If you're on PC using Steam, Epic Games, or maybe Google Stadia, these are pretty easy because they'll update automatically for you. However, Giants version might be a little bit different depending on your settings. If you're using Giants version, find the Farming Simulator 22 Giants version on your desktop, Hold down shift and double click. Make sure you're on default and verify installation. It'll then start the update process and should be good to go. Once you got everything, double check at the top left hand corner of your screen that you are in fact on version 1.7.1 and you are good to go. It's also important to remember that whenever you guys load in from a new update like this, uh, you may experience some stuttering or some rough stuttering at that after you launch the game for the first time when using mods, custom graphic settings, or anything like that, as all of that stuff has to be recompiled. So one of the things that I found the easiest to do, at least on PC, this is easy, is Jump in the air and fly around. If you've got uh, dev stuff turned on, go ahead and turn on that FPS counter at the top and fly around. If you guys are on console, another easy thing to do, just jump in like a 2020 or something fast and drive around the map. Thing is, you will have to do this in third person as well as in first person as well, as for some reason those do load up differently. But once you get it all, you're good to go. Something that was not expected today was Xbox players that downloaded the Platinum Edition of the game after patch 1.7 
found it unlocked after downloading 1.7.1 today and were able to play it, but only momentarily. This was a problem that was quickly fixed with a patch, making the map and expansion unplayable. So if you were awake super early this morning and you play on Xbox and you downloaded the Platinum Edition after patch 1.7, then you got to play the upcoming map for a few minutes before the patch was forced out. Did you get to play it? Let me know. And that's it. That is update 1.7.1 for all platforms of Farming Simulator 22. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new and join the GoHam fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. All we said, hope you guys have a great, awesome, wonderful rest of your day. We'll see you later. Peace!